Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be all about pumpkins, so let's get started. For my first pumpkin, I'm going to use more of these wood stakes. I took five of them and laid them out in a staggered pattern with the center one higher than the rest so it can serve as the pumpkin stem. I then cut two smaller pieces of wood and glued and nailed it on the back to secure all the pieces together. Next, I cut the top and bottom into a pumpkin shape and then sanded the whole thing. I used a scrap piece of wood and traced a basic bird shape onto it and then used my jigsaw to cut it out. I then sanded all the edges on it. Next, I gave the pumpkin a coat of orange paint and the bird a coat of black. When the paint was dry, I gave the whole thing a coat of antiquing wax. To decorate it, I glued and stapled some pieces of a grapevine wreath around the pumpkin. I then glued the bird and some Spanish moss onto it. To finish it, I tied some raffia around the stem and glued on a Dollar Tree burlap flower.
For my second pumpkin, I'm using a plastic pumpkin that I purchased from Dollar Tree and some book pages. I started by removing the stem from the pumpkin and tearing my book pages into small strips. I then used Mod Podge and decoupage the paper pieces to cover the entire pumpkin. When the decoupage was dry, I covered the entire thing with antiquing wax. Next, I drilled a hole into the top and glued on a wood finial to serve as the pumpkin stem. To finish it, I glued moss and some fall flowers around the top. For my third pumpkin, I'm going to use a piece of a 4x4 and some air dry clay. I chose molds that had leaves and acorns on them. I'll have the name of the molds in the description box below. I used wood glue to attach them and I just kept adding bits and pieces until I liked how it looked. I then gave it two coats of paint. When the paint was dry, I gave it a coat of clear wax followed by the antiquing wax. Again, you don't have to antique it and you can paint it any color you want. For the stem, I'm using the one I took off of the previous pumpkin. I attached it using E6000 and hot glue and then finished it by gluing on a bow made out of jute.
For my fourth pumpkin project, I'm using an oval picture frame and some IOD stamps. I started by painting the frame orange and the picture insert white. When the paint was dry, I used an IOD stamp to cover the background. Again, I'll have the names of the stamps below. Since I wanted my pumpkin leaf to be in the foreground, I stamped it first and then used the provided mask to cover it so I could then stamp my pumpkin image. I then used my ink and a paintbrush to fill in the leaf and stem on the pumpkin. I then used hot glue to attach it to the frame. Next, I used some air dry clay and made a pumpkin stem shape. I used a clay tool to give it some grooves and then used wood glue to attach it to the frame. I then let this dry overnight. To finish it, I gave the whole thing a coat of antiquing wax, being careful not to break off the pumpkin stem, and then I glued some pip berries and hemp cord at the top. I had some resin birds from another project, so I added them as well as a few burlap leaves.
Now for this pumpkin, you're gonna need some of this galvanized metal strap. Get it at the hardware store. I've got a wood round from Hobby Lobby, another thin piece of wood, 10 snips to cut this, and then trims of your choice, however you want to decorate it. And then for the top, for the pumpkin stem, I'm going to use this drawer pull that I got from Hobby Lobby. I started by cutting four pieces of the metal strapping about 26 inches long. Since the metal strapping has holes in it, I just gathered all the pieces together and lined up the hole at the bottom and used a screw to attach it to the wood round. I then lined up the holes at the top and put the screw from the drawer pull through it. This drawer pull was a two-piece design, so the pull was separate from the base. I did have to add two beads in between the base and the pull so I could tighten it. After that, I used some E6000 to glue some trim onto the outside of the metal to cover the holes and covered the entire thing. As you can see, my tube of glue developed a hole in the side, so I had to squeeze the glue out that way. I also added the trim to the inside of the metal strapping, but just used hot glue for that, mainly because of the broken glue tube situation. I then glued the thin wood round on the inside bottom of the pumpkin using hot glue. Next, I gave the entire thing a coat of copper metallic spray paint. After the paint was dry, I used a sanding block to sand a little of the paint off of the stem and then I used antiquing wax to tone down the copper color. To finish it, I added a Pipberry candle ring and a battery powered candle.
For my final pumpkin, I'm using a foam pumpkin and some dimensional paint. I just took the paint and did random swirly patterns to cover the entire pumpkin. I let that dry overnight and then gave it a quick coat of chalk spray paint to give it a more matte finish. I then gave it a coat of antiquing wax and used some gold rub and buff on the pumpkin stem. I hope everyone enjoyed these pumpkin projects and I'd also like to give a big thank you to everyone for subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.